Hi guys, Mama Beach here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here today to do an exciting unboxing from Tory Burch. I recently picked up two items from them that I actually kind of viewed in person at one of the boutiques and I wanted to wait for a sale to pick them up. And they decided they had a sale, but only on one of the items that I was looking at. So I ended up paying full price for the other one, but I got a good amount of cash back through Rakuten. So I definitely recommend signing up for that website. If you have not, I will link it below. Let me show you what I picked up and I will definitely be back with video reviews of both of these bags because I have some thoughts already about them just from viewing them in person at the boutique. So here is the box. And you can see the lovely packaging with the paper and the sticker. The first one I already unwrapped because I just had to see if I was going to like this color in person. So it is the Soft Fleming Bag. And of course, you guys know I love Tory Burch's Fleming line. I have a large, I don't remember if they call it a medium or the large Fleming, the biggest one already in the color Norwood that I absolutely love. And I never really was into this soft Fleming line. I thought they looked kind of sloppy until I saw them in person at the boutique recently, tried them on and really looked at it and felt it in person. And I was like, you know what? I actually kind of like that. And so I'm glad that I went into the boutique to look at it in person because sometimes that really makes all the difference. Um, let me take a little bit of the wrapping off here, but you can see, I really liked when I looked at it in the boutique, the closure that it was magnetic and super easy. And the chain strap just is this lovely shiny gold color that looks really nice. So I was not sure about this particular color. I have to say, I'm not crazy about it, but I'm going to unwrap it and kind of live with it. It's coming across really kind of greenish in this lighting but it's not. It's a very dark camel, almost like a saddle brown color in person. So when I do my review video, I'll try to get a little bit better lighting for you guys because you can see the true color. But yeah, I don't know. I'm on the fence, but I really like the style bag. So we'll see. I'll, I'll definitely be back with a review of my thoughts. All right, let me pull out the other bag that I picked up. And it is here in lovely bag dust bag and what I picked up is one of the new Miller shoulder bags now when I saw this style online what I really fell in love was with is the saddle color middle Miller shoulder bag with the basket weaving flap so when I went into the boutique that's what I went in looking for and while I really liked that one in person this caught my eye on the shelf because of the beautiful texture of the pebbled leather that they're using on this bag. Guys, this is some of the most supple, luxurious pebbled leather I have ever felt in my life. And I was like, I need to get that. I would really love for it to be on sale. It was not, I was hoping it would be included, but this is this beautiful like dark army green with this gold hardware. I just thought it looked so good in person. It almost looked black on the shelf until I picked it up and started handling it and kind of moving it around in the light. And these Miller bags come with this really beautiful chain, chain handle, I guess I wouldn't call it a strap. Um, so it's kind of like jewelry for your bag, but you can use it for a short drop like on your arm. So I really liked this style when I saw it in person, um, but I do have some negative thoughts about it as well. So definitely come back um, for a video on the Miller shoulder bag. I know this is like one of their newest styles and they're really like going all out for it. So I'm excited to review it here on my channel for you guys. All right, thank you guys so much for watching today. If you've not subscribed, I hope that you will. I do lots of videos about handbags on my channel, clearly not just unboxings, but I also do detailed reviews, comparisons, and I talk about leather care from time to time. So if you're into that sort of thing, I know you'll love my channel and I hope you'll join me for my future videos. All right, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.